What's up everybody, it's Mr. Light and we are going to be doing and going over my deck profile for Gold Paladin Liberators with support from set 15. Let's, let me just show you what I got right now. So, I would rank him a lot of this. Everyone's kind of ranking up like a lot of this stuff right now, so. Gold Paladin, like Ezlo, Gold Paladin Liberators, it's just, it's just Gold Paladin season this month, whole month. But, I think I got this. And so this deck is pretty the same standard deck that everybody else uses. But I can I think I got I got this. Like <laughs> I I I pride myself in understanding Gold Paladin pretty well. Um in the fact that I played the uh ever since the Garwar deck drop, child deck dropped, I played that. The Raiders up into Flames, and I well, Gurgo and I played Gurgo. Gurgo is a little weird to me. It was different because like defensively. But, as I was saying, I played Gold Paladin all. So. Or do I played like Royal Paladin and Gold Paladin, so I kind of have a background of guys, mainly when it comes to building decks and understanding how to play these cards. So. Liberators. We got Wingle Liberator. When it hits. But it's it's new skills, because when it hits, Counterblast 1 to search for... <laughs> but it's current skills, when it hits, look for Blaster Blade and add to your hand, put it in the soul, all that stuff. We got... Four, White Rainbow Liberty Balan. Three, uh, when Blaster Blade is called in the same column as this. Not plus one. And you have this column, right? Yeah. Columns up. <laughs> so you got three Barco Liberators when bla this boosts a Blaster Blade and it hits. Vanguard. Uh, look up for, look at the top three and call a card at rest. Two Josephus and four. Four perfect cards. Now, grade twos. Four perf four perfect cards. Four perfect cards ever. Blaster Blade. Four Fallons. One Ringnet. And four Galatine. Uh, I run Ringnet is over Iscrad because I don't want to hit pick the high rolls through Iscrad. Just, I don't know. I just don't want to risk it. Um, then we have grade threes. We're going four Zenfs at heals. Four Garmores. Four against lots and one Alfred. Alfred's kind of meh in this deck, so that's like not even the like very right target. It's mainly Garmore and ZF. ZF though is like that, that right target at the end of the game that you want to ride into. So always keep him in hand. I return everything else with Garmore skill. Garmore's like the first ride, and, it's, and the way this works out is usually that Garmore's the first necessary ride. Fills the field pretty fast. Has the resist effect for retirement, especially against like Nurakami or. Kagura clans, it helps, or any clan that has like a surprise or target, retire abilities, Royal Paladins, Shadow Paladins, Genesis, stuff like that. And then, if I was going for a Zenith combo, I'd try to ride against lot to get extra 10 I was in just for back row, so then, uh, the back row. Um, Zenith skill, when it attacks, counter plus 1 to return a card to your bottom of the deck, top superior call, and that unit gets plus 3,000, 10,000, plus 10,000. Garmor skill. Come plus two. Fill the field until you have for every empty rear guard. Um, one at a time. When this play used to be good, when you had Garmor, you had the first card is Bruno. And every other card is like grade two or grade one or whatever. And Bruno submits massive power ups. Bang, boom. Uh, you got Genslot Break Ride. You know, when, ride when a card right on top of it gets plus 10,000, look for a Blaster Blade. Three units get plus 5,000. Alfred, can I bless you to superior? Look at the top four? Yeah, and call Liberator. And it gets plus two down for every unit. And just so these, these two numbers. Like, this was really good against Shiryuki because it could hit numbers pretty easily. Um, Yeah, but overall, this deck's really good. I like it. I like my Liberators. Excited for them. Sorry for more support with Monarch and Blue Shrimps. You guys enjoyed this deck profile for Old Pound and Liberators. See you on the next one. Peace, guys.